about two o'clock on Thursday. Maybe three o'clock now. We've been honey doing. You know, I got back yesterday, I told you this was done. Well, it is done except for the mulch that is missing. So it matches this side over here. That's on the honeydew list. Come on over, I got a trick I need to show you. Hurry, I'll send a leer for you. And a limo. But then we get to the good stuff. Later this evening, my son has requested more clams. So I just washed them off with the hose, got the grit and sand off of them. Now in about two, three more hours, we'll put some heat on them. More steam clams. But we're having pork chops tonight. And squash, I think. I'll have to get back to you. Mumbles man went to the land of Nada this morning. I'll show you what he found in a minute because this is going to be a short video since I'm not going today. He got the he got the mid mumbles, you know. He didn't find any tickets, just some bling and some. He used to, did find some change for a change. I'll show you the pictures in a minute. This is the way I open clams. This is a oyster knife, but it works perfect for clams. You stick it in the back part of that hinge. You twist it, you twist down, you keep the knife point at the top of the shell so it doesn't cut the clam. When you get through, you have a perfectly uncut clam. Not like you see in some restaurants. I'm looking for organisms. These are like dogs and cats. They get ticks. You don't see them often, but you'll see them in the bottom of the shell. No ticks in that one. I like them raw. Twist down, up, follow the top of the shell around. You have a perfect uncut, untouched clam with no parasites. You cut it loose like that, and there you go. Mumbles Man's nut from the land of Nada this morning. He said about 320 in clad. You can see the rest of it. Some bling crap. One piece of gray matter. He said it's really, really rough down there this morning. Because it's been overcast and blowing most of the day. But not hard, but just enough to make the ocean front probably rough. Alright, that's it for a few minutes. Uh-oh. Mandu's over there. Look at his birds. What are you looking at, boo-boo? Lunch? Is lunch out there? I think it is. We hadn't had any knife action in a couple of days, but we got some now. This is a Microtech dagger automatic knife, double bladed, double edged. Guy's going to get it to me tomorrow for sharpening. Damascus. It's cool. He's got a bit larger model. He said he's going to bring me that too. That's supposed to come in the mail to him this afternoon. So I may get both of them tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is, but that's an expensive proposition. Kind of thin, is it? What do you think, Big Jack? Some bones there, boy. Indian, what are you looking at? Mmm. Terrible.
No, never buy that kind. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Smile for the camera. You know how to do it. Come on. He got his ears back. He's mad. Come on. What do you think, big old mama? He's a bad boy, ain't he? What do you think, baby scooter? Mm, smile for the camera tonight. That's right. <laughs> clams. And more clams. Baby pork chops. The leader is just about finishing up. What do you call that? Tomatoes and rice and uh, basil. Basil. Mmm. Where's the best of it? The best of it. It's right in here. Squashos. Henry, will you please? We run aground. I can't we got eat all pork chop left. A whole bucket of clams I know you left. Eat leftovers because you make. Mmm. We're taking it easy. Dogs are outside enjoying a bone. Carnivores are happy. Three. Boo Boo's in here somewhere eating his pork chops. And, and, there's Boo Boo in there. We have a, I think we have a new Mumbles man. I'll tell you about it in a little while. Probably one of the most outstanding finds I've ever seen. A certain guy we know, I can't, I can't tell you right now. I got to tell you later. It's un, unbelievable. All that remains is shells and a sink full of work to do pots and pans. Dog, dog, dog stuff. Jack's outside resting. Boo boo. A little boo boo was thinking. My son is resting. Mama Kitty's in my chair. I can't even sit down. Where's Boo Boo at? She's passed out. <laughs> In Chris's chair. I don't see Boo Boo. Where is he? There's Boo Boo sitting on the steps. You see him? He's scared of my son. He won't come down when he's in here. He, he lets him feed him pork chops, but he won't come in the room with him. Not in the living room, I should say. What do you mean? You bad? Big Boo Boo. Jealous? I should do it, Big Jack. Oh, what do you want? You want me to scratch? Hi, little Indian. What are you doing, little Indian? Ooh, you little Indian. You smell them pork chops? Yeah, them good pork chops. Aren't they, Big Jack? Yeah, my Big Jack. <laughs> my Indians. Big Indian, a little Indian. That's my big old jack. Yeah, <laughs> that's my big old jack. Yes, he is. He's a big daddy jack. Yes, he is. Mm hmm. He's a baby Indian. He's a pretty little Indian. Yes, you are. A pretty little Indian. My big old Jack, he's pretty too. Look how big he is. He's big. He's a big old Jack. Yes, he is. A big old daddy Jack.
I'm getting ready to show you something really, really, really rare. Not seen by many people's eyes ever. This one hadn't been seen for well over 150 years. Mr. Beaver was lucky enough today to go on the river with his buddy Steve, a.k.a. the Gigmeister. You need to go to YouTube if you haven't already followed him and check out the video of today. What those two found on the river today. But more importantly, what Beaver found on the river today with his friend Steve. Truly amazing find, my opinion. There it is. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Civil War dog tag. And if I can make this thing work, Beaver says, let's see if I can make it go backwards. Oops, that's not it. That's a friend of Timmy's. Timmy's in the hospital. Okay, let's close this up. Beaver says it's a dog tag from the Civil War, a soldier of the 5th Volunteer Infantry from Vermont. Let me see if I can find, he did say something else about it. Let's see. It's actually the company of the 5th Regiment, Vo Vermont Volunteers. Is that something? An ID tag from the Civil War. And I'm telling you that, ladies and gentlemen, that's something that not many people will ever see for real. Except just like you and I just saw it. That's truly one of the most amazing finds I believe I've ever seen. <laughs> Mr. Steve and that boat have found some fine targets. The Gigmeister. Good luck, Mr. Steve. You too, Mr. Mumbles Man Beaver. <laughs> I'll see you later.